All right, we'll get started with Evan Barnes. Desmond, can you hear me okay? Yep, yep. Cool. Um, I asked Mel this earlier, but I mean, for, for you guys, obviously, you know, you weren't on the team last year, but they, they've been through the playing tournament. They've kind of been through this rush a bit. What's, what's your feeling kind of on, you know, the playing tournament now as these games heat up and you guys are kind of, you know, in the thick of this race the next two weeks? Oh, I mean, it's just one day at a time. Um, you know, everything is a little tougher uh, this time of the year, you know, winning games. Um, you know, the games begin to pile up. I think we play 63 games now. So, um, you know, everything's a little tougher this this time of year. Everybody has something to play for, whether, um, you know, it's it's guys on the Orlando Magic or, or teams that are, you know, in the top three, four, um, you know, fighting for seating in the playoffs. So everybody has something to play for. And uh, we got to approach every game with with a professional mindset. Terry Davis. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. How you doing? This time of year, man, you have to find something extra, you know, uh, with the you know, how you play. So how you dig down deeper to find that extra oomph to get you over the hump in these last few games? Uh, I think it goes back to your love for the game. Um, I mean, it's it's what what we do. Um, it's what what we've done our whole life, and you know, we're we're extremely thankful and blessed to be able to to play this game for a living and play on a on a stage like this. So. Um, you know, never taking anything for granted and never becoming content, I think will will keep you hungry. Joe Mullinax. Hey, Desmond. Uh, obviously, your rookie season coming to an end here, at least regular season here in the next nine games or so. And everybody likes to talk about that rookie wall. You and X especially have had to deal with that due to the COVID issues earlier in the season. You guys have so many games that you've had to play in such a short amount of time. Physically, mentally, where are you at uh, in terms of the close of your rookie season and how all these games have kind of piled up on you? How do you see your game kind of progressing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, playing every other day provides its own challenges. But, um, you know, I feel like I'm in a good space mentally. Um, you know, my, my family, my girlfriend, um, you know, help keep me in a, in a good space regardless of what's happening on the court. And, uh, you know, whatever happens on the court happens on the court. You know, I mean, you, you put in the work and you put in the time. Um, you know, and you just let the result show for itself. So, you know, put the, the right foot in front of the left and, and keep chugging along. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel good heading into this last stretch. Mike Wallace. Hey, Desmond, this team, obviously, you guys have been uh, connected uh, all season long. The communication has been great. When, when you get into some, some more adverse situations like these last couple of weeks, uh, how has that communication uh, strengthened and, and the trust that you guys have to hold one another accountable? How is that right now when, when you're dealing with a tough stretch? Um, I think it's going to bring everybody closer together. Um, you know, I mean, when when everything, when the going gets tough, um, you got one or two options, you know, to embrace it or to, to back down from it. So, um, you know, we're, we're coming down to this, this final stretch. And, uh, you know, I think that it's going to make us even closer as a team. Last question, we'll go to Evan Barnes. Devin, back to the playing tournament. Um, how, how excited kind of are, are you for the chance to kind of be in it? And did you, when you watched the, when you watched the playing tournament last year, what did you think about it? And kind of how exciting is it for you being a part of this race now as a player? I mean, it's extremely exciting, um, you know, for, for me to be in my first year in the league and have an opportunity to um, compete in the, in a postseason is, is huge. Um, you know, I think it's something that um, will bring great experience and something that, you know, uh, myself and our organization will be able to build off of, um, you know, in the future. But I'm, I'm extremely excited. Um, but, you know, the work is, is not done. Um, we still have two weeks left to, to solidify ourselves. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Des. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Coach Jenkins will be available at 6.15 tonight.